I think what people don't understand is, is that for, for many decades, even 100 years, the city of Chicago and the state of Illinois has been the hub of the United States. Mm -hmm. This is where all the business is. This is where all the work is. Right. Yeah, they say, okay, they take their business out to the West Coast or they go to the Southern states because of cheaper labor and all that. But they always tend to come back here because this is where everything goes to, from the East Coast to the West Coast, from the North to the South. It always comes from the state of Illinois. And if they want to leave, leave. Other, country, other uh, companies will be glad to come to this state. Yeah, I, I think that there's a lot to what you say. And I also think we need to be thoughtful and intentional, <clears throat> excuse me, about what kind of economy we want. This is my core difference with Bruce Brown. So I've been, I'm sure some of you have heard me tell this story, but I can't stop myself, so I'm sorry. There was a time when Bruce Rauner used to speak to me. And <laughs> what stopped? <laughs> I don't know, but I feel much happier now. Um, sleep better at night? <laughs> the question is whether he's sleeping at night. And I, uh, more on that later. But, but so in April 2015, I got called and was told the governor wants to meet with you. And we had this one-on-one -on -one meeting the governor's office in the second floor of the Capitol building. And it was just kind of a get to know you. We were just talking. No real agenda. He wasn't asking for anything. And for whatever reason, we got onto the topic of right to work. Okay, fine. That's a good thing to talk about. So I said, listen, governor, here's my attitude on right to work. There is a national, or really honestly global, race to the bottom happening where one jurisdiction after the next is trying to compete to push wages down and down and down and down in the hopes to attract bottom feeding corporations. Governor, why do we want to be a part of that race to the bottom? Why? And I thought he was going to get defensive and say, oh, Daniel, you don't understand. That's not what it is at all. He didn't. He didn't. He said, you're right. He said, you're right. It's a race to the bottom. What do you want me to do? We can either win the race to the bottom, or we can lose the race to the bottom. And you're right, Daniel, if we win the race to the bottom, it's going to be a lot more minimum wage jobs. But if we lose the race to the bottom, it's going to be no jobs at all. What do you prefer? That's Bruce Rauner's attitude. He thinks the only way to grow jobs, not just a way, but the only way to grow jobs is to race to the bottom and push down wages and make sure that when a company is trying to figure out where it's cheapest to hire somebody, they think that we're even better than Texas. They think we're even better than Alabama. And what I would say is you can't do economic development that way. And you will have more minimum wage jobs and you will have more poverty. But you could also instead try to bring in a different kind of company. A company that's looking for the best workers. A company that's looking for the most vibrant place to live. A company that's looking for a diverse economy with lots of different types of suppliers. A company that's looking for, as you said, a continental transportation hub. A company that wants to be near a giant source of fresh water. A company that wants to be in a place with a thriving community college and public university system that's affordable. There are so many different things that attract different types of business. But we have to get out of this race to the bottom mindset. Because even if you do it as well as it can possibly done, be done, it doesn't grow the kind of economy that all of us want. You're never going to have a growing middle class play that game. We have to have the strength and the toughness to just walk away from that game. And when we're being held hostage by a business that says we're leaving unless you give us a special tax cut to make somebody else pay the difference, we got to say, you are totally against right to work. <laughs> so I'll say it in a simple way. I am totally against right to work in all contexts. But I'll say, you're a carpenter, and I don't believe in right to work because it takes good jobs and it makes them bad jobs. Yeah. It takes good uh, uh, level pay, and it puts it right in the sewer. It takes benefits from people, it takes everything away, and it does not give them a right to speak on their job site. Bingo. It takes all that away. Bingo. That's exactly right. And I'll say a little more. I'm the chairman of the Labor Committee in the Senate. So when Bruce Rauner and his Republican allies in the Senate try to pass his agenda, whether it's right to work, whether it's getting rid of the prevailing wage, whether it's going after collective bargaining, whether it's gutting the workers' compensation system, those bills come to me. I'm the firewall. And so when those bills come, here's what I do. I assign them to a subcommittee, but then I don't put any 
eight people on the subcommittee. <laughs> so nobody can vote the bills out. And everything's fine. <laughs>